Assalamu alaikum. My dear student, I am Dr. Noreen Khan, lecturer of biochemistry. Today I will discuss about the respiratory chain. Uh, for this topic, uh, at first we have to know uh, by which mechanism this respiratory chain uh, occurs. So there is an oxidation process. For oxidation of the reduced coenzyme, the two process involves. Number one is reductive synthetic process and number two is oxidative phosphorylation process. In the oxidative phosphorylation process, this oxidative phosphory, uh, phosphorylation will be uh, occurs in the level of respiratory chain. First, we have to know the definition of respiratory chain. The respiratory chain, another name is electron transport chain. So it is an organized uh, functional chain in the mitochondria which composed of electron carrier molecules which will receive uh, reducing equivalent from the reduced coenzyme and move them through the uh, respiratory chain in a multi-step process uh, to the molecular oxygen and ultimately hydrogen or oxygen will combine uh, and they will form metabolic water and production of ATP. So this is the definition of respiratory chain which another name is electron transport chain because electron will move through the chain. So it is also named as the electron transport chain. In this chain, there will be oxidative phosphorylation. What is oxidation and what is phosphorylation? Oxidative phosphorylation means oxidation of the components of respiratory chain and phosphorylation means addition of the phosphate to ADP which will uh, form ATP. ATP means uh, adenosine triphosphate which is the main energy currency of our cell in the human body. So when uh, oxidation of the uh, components of the respiratory chain and uh, additionally there will be addition of phosphate to the adenosine diphosphate there will be production of ATP adenosine triphosphate which is the main energy for our body. Now come to the point what are the component of the respiratory chain which will be oxidized. Normally components there are two type of component hydrogen carrier components and electron carrier components. Hydrogen carrier components are NAD, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, FMN, flavin mononucleotide, coenzyme Q, another name is UV quinone, and FAD, flavin adenine dinucleotide. So these are the all hydrogen carrier and uh, these are all electron carrier components cytochrome b cytochrome c1 cytochrome c cytochrome a a3 all are the electron carrier components of the respiratory chain now come to the point among these all carriers nad coenzyme q and cytochrome c these three components are easily and freely diffusible but resting all components are not diffusible so they are also uh, known as the complex particles so in case of complex one particle there will be fmn and its enzyme named nadh dehydrogenase Com in the complex two there will be fad and its enzyme succinate dehydrogenase in the complex 3, there is a cytochrome B and cytochrome C1 and at last that there is a complex 4 which is cytochrome A, A3 and cyto which is also known as the cytochrome oxidase. So uh, in the respiratory chain, there are hydrogen carrier components and electron carrier components and all components will be arranged according to their increasing redox potential and they will be from most negative to most positive. So uh, they will run from most negative to most positive and they will be arranged in the increasing redox potential nature from NAD to FMN, FMN to coenzyme Q, coenzyme Q to cytochrome B, cytochrome B to cytochrome C1, C1 to C and C2. C to AA3 and uh, FAD will directly enter into the coenzyme Q and this step will be escaped in that case. Now come to the point what is redox potential. Normally redox potential are the uh, potential uh, to tendency of a substances to lose or accept electron or hydrogen atoms that is the redox potential. So most negative redox potential means more tendency to lose electron or hydrogen atom and more positive redox potential means more uh, tendency to accept electron or hydrogen molecules. Now come to the point respiratory chain there is a some salient feature. First substrate, substrate means which will initiate the reaction that is substrate. Substrate in the respiratory chain are reduced coenzyme NAD2H, FAD2H and product will be ATP and water. The water is the mainly metabolic water. Now come to the point site for respiratory chain. Site is the mitochondrial, all mitochondria containing cell and compartment is the inner surface of the inner mitochondrial membrane. Nature of the respiratory chain is catabolic and production uh, will 
will be ATP and uh, from NAD to H there will be produ uh, production of 3 ATP and per 1 FAD to H there will be production of 2 ATP. Everything I will describe in later. Now come to the point rate limiting enzyme. Here the rate limiting enzyme for respiratory chain is cytochrome oxidase and ATP synthase. So what is the purpose of respiratory chain? Main purpose is oxidation of the reduced coenzyme. It is the main purpose and formation of ATP which is the main energy currency for our body. Now come to the point in the respiratory chain normally reduced coenzyme NAD2H and FAD2H this will come from the oxidation of the glucose fatty acid amino acid by the process of dehydrogenation. Dehydrogenation means removal of hydrogen ion from the biomolecules. So in this de dehydrogenation process there will be loss of hydrogen atom to NAD or FAD and to generate NAD2H, FAD2H. These are the main reducing uh, equivalent and reducing uh, reduced coenzyme. This reduced coenzyme NAD2H or FAD2H which I express as M2H or M2H here. So this NAD2H or FAD2H will be oxidized uh, and they will form NAD and FAD. This NAD will move to the FMN and from FMN they will move into the coenzyme Q and coenzyme Q to cytochrome B, cytochrome C1, C and AA3. And when FAD2H, this reduced coenzyme will come, they will directly enter into the coenzyme Q and then coenzyme Q to cytochrome B, cytochrome B2, cytochrome C1, cytochrome C1 to cytochrome C and cytochrome C to cytochrome AA3. This is the order of fashion. Now come to the point from one hydrogen atom we will get one electron and one proton. So two hydrogen atom we will get two electron and two proton and proton will be dissociated into the, our body fluid and electron will be carried out from NAD, FMN, coenzyme Q, they, their hydrogen atom are moving and from cytochrome B, cytochrome C1, cytochrome C and cytochrome A, A3 electron carriers are the moving. So hydrogen or electron carrier will be move from one carrier protein to another carrier protein and uh, for one carrier protein which will accept hydrogen or electron from the preceding one and they will donate hydrogen or electron in the next to, to the next one. So at first all uh, carrier protein will be reduced then they, they will be oxidized by accepting or donating hydrogen or electron respectively. Now come to the point there is a site of ATP production in the respiratory chain. This is the main motto or main aim or main purpose for the respiratory chain production of ATP. When the ATP will be produced among that ATP production 60% will be liberated as the dissipated heat to maintain our body temperature and 40% will be uh, captured as the ATP by ATP synthase enzyme. Now come to the point when there will be FMN to coenzyme Q there will be production of one ATP and in the cytochrome B to cytochrome C1 there will be production of another ATP and from cytochrome C to AA3 level there will be production of another ATP. So these are the ATP production site. So from 1 NAD we will get 3 ATP 1, 2, 3 but from the FAD we will get 2 ATP because FAD is directly entered into the coenzyme Q. So previous steps will be minimized here. So from FAD we will first go to the coenzyme Q then cytochrome B, cytochrome C1. So here one ATP production and from cytochrome C to cytochrome AT another ATP production. So from one FAD to H we will get two ATP and from one NAD to H we will get three ATP. So these are the site for res, uh, in the respiratory chain for ATP production. Now come to the point last component cytochrome AA3. This cytochrome AA3 also known as the cytochrome oxidase which uh, function is to reassociate hydrogen atom and um, uh, oxygen atom mainly half molecular oxygen to form water and this water which produced in the respiratory chain it is the metabolic water. During metabolism this uh, water produced so it is also known as the metabolic water. So in the respiratory chain we will get ATP and water. So main product for respiratory chain is ATP and metabolic water. So this is all about the respiratory chain. Now come to the point if respiratory chain dysfunction occurred then what will happen to our body. There will be hypoxic cell injury, mitochondrial, myopathy, neuropathy, encephalopathy, renal dysfunction and there will be stroke and epilepsy etc. And what are the inhibitors of the respiratory chain? If respiratory chain will inhibited by dimer caprol or barbiturates or there will be inhibitors of the cytochrome oxidase by carbon monoxide, hydrogen cyanide, uh, hydrogen sulfide or cyanide. So 
these are the inhibitors which can inhibit respiratory chain and if respiratory chain inhibition occurs there will be many diseases in our body. So, respiratory chain is very important because it will produce main ATP uh, which is the main energy currency of our body. So, this is all about the respiratory chain. Uh, so, today I will finish uh, my lecture. Another uh, day I will start another topic. Allah Hafiz and thank you all.